Greetings folks, I'm out here on the deck of the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge. It's middle of August, so it's kind of a quiet time of year in many ways out here. But today I'd like to talk about nests, and specifically adaptations birds make. Now down here on the bench I've got a what we consider to be a traditional nest. If I were to say nest, people would probably picture something like this. You can see there are fragments of shells left in this old nest. When we think of birds and we think of nests, sometimes we get locked into the idea of trees and nests that are high up in a tree. Trees are a great place to build a nest because it's a safe place. Nests aren't really homes as much as they are maternity wards, if you will. It's where you lay your eggs, you keep your eggs safe, uh, you hatch your eggs, and then when you fledge, and the babies are gone, the nests then are vacated. Some birds will come back and use the same nest and some build new ones over and over. So usually when we think of nests, we think of places that are high up in trees and uh, able to stay safe. But uh, if you look out here, uh, we don't have a lot of trees in this area. It's a wetland area and uh, we don't have a lot of trees. Some birds have found creative ways to uh, get around the tree problem. As I said, it's kind of a quiet time of year right now. In the spring, along about April, May, into June, and even early July, this place is just absolutely busy and alive with birds that have learned and adapted to build their nests out of mud on cliffs. In the absence of a cliff, <laughs> they think the side of my building is uh, their cliff, so they build them here out of mud. These swallows return to this area oh, about the 12th, 11th, 12th of uh, April every year. As you can see, most of the nests deteriorate. They then fall and rubble to the ground beneath. So when you come back, you probably got to start over building your nest, which is fun to watch that happen. But it is a very safe place to have your eggs and to let them stay safe until the babies are big enough to fledge and then you can just abandon the nest and move on as nature intends you to. So some birds are very adaptable to building nests in unique spots. Uh, trees though are what we typically think of. But again, as you look out here, I don't have a lot of trees. We're at the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge, so when birds migrate into places like this, they uh, typically in the spring, this is a very, very popular place where birds will come and build those nests and lay those eggs. I wanna show you a couple of examples of very unique nests. The first bird I want to talk about is a bird called a killdeer. Killdeer have long legs and uh, they, they have very, very unusual eggs. They like to lay their eggs right in the rocks on the ground, hoping that they're camouflaged enough that they won't be seen. The egg I'm going to show you is not a real killdeer egg. It's a replica, but it's accurate uh, to killdeer eggs. It's actually right here in this area. I'm going to give you time to look carefully. Anybody spot the killdeer egg among the rocks? Their goal is to not be found. At Easter, parents hide Easter eggs, and sometimes with my kids, I knew I hid it in a place that they would never, ever find, and that was going to be no fun. So I tried to find it. It would be challenging, but still possible. Killdeer want it to be challenging and impossible because survival depends on it. So if you look carefully, I'm gonna move in here a little bit and the egg is right there. There's a killdeer egg. Again, it's a replica, but they just camouflage them right in the rocks so that hopefully predators won't see them and won't know they're there. Killdeer are kind of fun that way. They hide their rocks. 
some of our wetland birds, they go right out into the, the cattails and especially bulrushes. They love bulrushes because bulrushes make a great building material to weave uh, floating nests. Uh, grebes build a floating nest. But some ducks come right onto shore and their key to survival is finding thick, thick grasses and then camouflaging their eggs as well. So, right in these thick, thick grasses, I have, oh, can you see it in there? The egg is, would be a mallard duck egg, and they actually lay them in the grass, thick, deep grasses, and then they hopefully are green enough that they disappear and allow them to be safe in that habitat. So one of the fun things to do is to get out and begin to learn how nature has adaptations that allow animals to survive and especially the idea of nesting in uh, unique uh, places. Thank you for attending my class today.